Hello everyone, Minefield719 here, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server with plugins. Last tutorial, I did how to make a Minecraft server that had pretty much zero customization. You can uh, invite your friends if you gave them like your IP address, and you couldn't install any plugins. And this tutorial is going to be an update, and every step in this tutorial is going to be on Windows, but the same steps should apply on Mac. So first off, you're going to need build tools, which I will link a different video in the description below. And I just have essentials x.jar here for when the server is created, and I'll show you that plugins work. So first off, you're going to want to right click, new, folder. Name the folder whatever you want. I'm going to name it server. You're going to want to go into that. You're going to want to click new. For me, it says notepad++ because I have notepad++ installed. It will probably say notepad. Just want to click that. You're going to want to click, or sorry, you're going to want to rename it to run or start. Txt. You're going to want to go into that file. You're going to want to paste this in. This will be in the description below. You're going to want to paste this in. And if you're using Craft Bucket, I'll show you what to change this to later in the tutorial. So, you want to do that. Click File, Save, X out of that. You're going to want to rename it to dot bat yes okay now you have the start dot bat so every time you turn on your server you double click this and it will run it but just before you do that you're going to want to go into that build tools that i showed you before you're going to want to go like all like i said this how to do this will be in the description below for my example i am going to do 1.8.8 Let's, oh, sorry. Copy it. Let's X out of build tools. You shouldn't need it anymore. And then let's paste it in here. Okay. When I showed you how to, what that spygot.jar was, or craft bucket if you're using craft bucket. I showed you you'd need that. This is where you need it. So if you're gonna use a spy spygot, you're gonna wanna rename your spygot to that. So it matches just like this. And if you're using craft bucket, you're gonna wanna change this to craft bucket and rename the craft bucket to craft bucket .jar. Okay, once that's done, I'm just going to change this to dot pat, and you're going to double click. Uh, as you can see, things are going to start to show up, and then if I go here, it is not going to work because the EULA, like I showed you in last video. Gonna wanna edit, change this to true, file, save. You can get rid of that, reload your server. Just wait for it to load. As you can see, you have a plugins thing, you have everything you need. If I go into here, it's preparing the spawn area. Gonna wait for it. Done. That means your server's running. Okay, that easy. For this tutorial, I'm gonna show you 
that the plugins do work. And I'm going to show you that right now. So to stop your server, you just type stop, enter. Stopped. Okay. Server stopped. Let's go ahead and plop essentials in here. Let's go back to our server, run it. While that is running, I am going to run my Minecraft. As you can see, Minecraft loaded up, the server was done. Add server. To get into your server privately with no one else to join, you can just type in local host. Not everybody can join with this IP, it's just on your IP right now. It's running. Now, go all the way to the bottom. Server. Let's join it. Let's type, as you can see, that is an essentials thing. Plugin list, we have essentials. And just to prove, help essentials. Let's do AFK. As you can see, it works. Thanks for tuning in, guys.